What's going on guys, this dealer here back again with yet another video talking about some amazing Xbox One X news. And not really that surprising seeing as I had said this months and months and months and months and months ago for some of us having running at ultra settings on Xbox One X. Digital Foundry can now confirm this. They've gotten time with the console, they played the game, they've run the footage through their analysis, and of course there are Pretty much no differences between you playing on Xbox One X and someone else playing on a GTX 1080. This is Forza 7 running on Xbox One X. We capture this footage at Gamescom and it looks great. Native 4K resolution running at a rock solid 60 frames per second. Yep, that's right, you're getting a rock solid, smooth, consistent experience from start to finish. And that's pretty awesome. Of course, we were wondering how well the game would hold up up against the PC version running at max settings, and also were intrigued to see how the base Xbox One game was coming along as well. Are Turn 10 still delivering a beautifully smooth 60fps experience? And how does it fare in terms of the visual quality compared to One X and PC? Well, the Forza 7 demo allows us to get a brief but somewhat revealing look at what's going on, and I've got to say, Regardless which platform you're going to be playing Forza 7 on, the experience at the moment looks and feels great to play. This is a really polished racing game, and Turn 10 certainly are delivering on their 60 frames per second promise, whether that be at 4K or 1080p. Now yes, uh, I do know what you're thinking, Sony fanboys, and, and I am going to do exactly what you think I'm going to do. Really, if you get offended by this video, if you're angry at this video, no matter if you're a Sony guy, a PC guy, Really reassess your thinking, okay, because these are just facts. Don't get mad at facts that are shown to you on screen and then linked down in the description for you to click and see yourself, okay? These are just facts, and the whole reason I'm doing this is it's part of uh, some vindication here. Because a year ago when I said 4K60 and Forza Motorsport, not only 4K60, but high ultra settings... Uh, I was absolutely insane. People thought it was impossible. People said it was going to be $800, $700, wouldn't have a single 4K game at launch, wouldn't be able to do 4K, 4K60, uh, let alone 4K60 high settings or 4K30 high settings. Turns out, Forza Motorsport 7 is doing 4K, 60 frames per second, ultra settings with an AMD specific anti aliasing technique. That is the only difference between that and the PC version. The big selling point of Forza 7 on the One X is obviously the ability to play the game running at 4K60 with the ultra high quality experience, the PC level experience if you will. And looking at our demo captures on PC versus the One X, that definitely appears to be the case. The main difference between the two comes down to the anti-aliasing implementation. Aside from that though, we are getting what looks like the high end PC experience on the One X. Taking a close look across distant scenery, streaming, shadow quality, texture work, and the effects quality from the limited material we have here, both versions hand in identical levels of quality. Now of course, as good as this all sounds so far, I'm sure my longtime subscribers are not surprised in the least bit, because I've been saying this for about a year now on podcast videos and more. It has been very nice getting all of the messages from supporters on Twitter, the vindication is real with this video, but of course, I've even gotten some messages from some Sony guys, believe it or not, saying, yeah, sorry, I apologize, I was wrong, I shouldn't have commented on all those videos. Do I expect to get many more of those? No, I don't expect to hear many Sony guys after after this commenting oh sorry I never knew what I was talking about I really should consider unplugging my keyboard because I never know what I'm talking about probably not gonna get many more of those uh, but it is what it is it's still nice to get this news I don't want this digital foundry video to be about damage control with the Sony guys or any fanboy oh it's just a, a racing game it's super easy to run blah 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 yes it is very well optimized but keep in mind there are racing games on other platforms that do not come close to doing what this game is doing all right. It does speak to the optimization. It also speaks to the capability of Xbox One X, whether you want to admit it or not. Gran Turismo Sport is 1800p checkerboard, meaning they had to checkerboard up to 1800p, not even rendering the game at a straight 1800p or rendering at 1800 and then checkerboarding up to 2160. It's well below where the Xbox One X is, and that's before you mention the fact that there are no other additional settings bumps over the base PS4 version so far that Digital Foundry have uncovered of note. 
So what can I say? Turn 10 have definitely done it. We're looking at a true ultra high end 4K 60 experience, but on a console and it looks and feels great to play. So there you have it, guys. That's where I'm going to leave it. I think Dave from Digital Foundry is coming around. I think a lot of people are coming around. It's important to remember that Xbox One X improves every game. It's not about one game. It's not about two games. It's not about 2017. It's not about 2018. It's about every game for now on running and looking drastically better, giving you what you wanted three years ago. So that's the bottom line, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Of course, I would appreciate a like and a share on this video. Please show your support. Subscribe for new stuff like this. If you haven't checked out the Patreon, please do so. Plenty of tiers, giving out plenty of rewards. We're doing Patreon game streams and more. Of course, I'm Dealer. Thanks for all the support. I'm out.